Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, today, well as you saw in the title of the video, we're assembling the fuel system. Um, this video is going to be stretched out probably over the next, well for me it'll be over like probably like the next few weeks, but you guys will all see it all in one video. So, which is pretty damn awesome. As you can see I'm wearing a t-shirt today, of course, right? You gotta show love. Uh, it's actually really nice, so it's like 15 degrees Celsius, so 14, 15, somewhere in there, so that's t-shirt weather. Uh, anyways, we are going to start, actually start off the video with our first uh, delivery that we got, which um, is actually kind of crazy because I think I placed the order for this shit on the Friday, and today is the Monday, and it's already here, and we live out in the sticks, so that's pretty damn deadly. Um... Uh, what I'm going to do with the video, though, is whenever the parts come, right, come in, we're going to review them quick, check them out, and I'm going to date it. Like, they came in on this date. Like, today is uh, May 2nd. So, that way, you know, with the world supply chain problem, I'm going to do this as a way to kind of track it, I guess. Because um, I live in Canada, and everything I ordered came off of Amazon. Like, everything. So, a lot of it's going to be here, like, right the fuck away, which is crazy. A lot of it won't be here for a bit. But let's start off with the first two pieces that showed up, which we all knew would be the first two pieces to show up. And they are... <laughs> from ICT Billet, of course. The Fuel Quick Disconnects. Uh, I got the 5 sixteenths one. And this one should be the 3 eighths. So, oh, the camera doesn't want to zoom properly. I'm going to have to clean the lens. So there's 5 sixteenths, 3 eighths. Apparently they're both ICT billet, which I don't think this one is. This one's like a vibrant knockoff, I think. So, but let's open them up, see what they look like, then check out the quality of them. All right, got them out of the packaging. We'll start out with the ICT billet one. Um, I took the plastic piece out, and I'll show you guys it. Um, the inter the web interweb says you have to trim it. Uh, it looks really good to me. So hopefully it locks into place. Let me just put that back in. This is really hard to do one-handed, folks. But I did it. Now let's take out this other this knockoff one here. But the three eighths obviously bigger, right? Let's see how it looks. Oh. Come on. This isn't as easy doing one-handed as you'd think it is. Uh, not bad. Might have to do a little bit of trimming there. Just a little bit of cleaning up the edges. But other than that, not bad. All right. Next up. See how they fit. All right. Got the fittings here. We'll start off with the uh, 5 sixteenths. Should just... Uh, uh, Oh, I want to clip on. So just clip on. It's not clipping on, guys. What the hell? Huh. See that? It's not clipping on. So this one will be going back. Unless I can figure something out here. So let's try this one here. Ugh. That guy doesn't even go on either. Like, what the fuck? Huh. Well, that's not good. They don't go on. Uh, give me a sec here. I'm going to check something. I'll be right back. All right, hey guys. I did a bunch of fucking around. This does this not seal. Now, if I put it on there and, like, give it a little pinch, right? Oh. She seals, right? But then you push it forward, and you can quick release it. Okay. So, looks like I got a fucking, I got some junk fittings. Son of a bitch. And you can't fucking find this shit anywhere. This is gonna be fun. Oh well, let's see what shows up next. 
This piece arrived March 5th, or May 5th. It's the, uh, right there, dash six female, 14 mil. That goes on the back, the fuel line there. And it's, uh, Fragola. So it's a good brand. Can't wait to see what comes next. All right, guys, up next, we got this here. Let's open it up and see what's inside. All right, we opened it up, and as you can see, well, as I forgot to say, this arrived May 6th. Uh, we got some 6N and 5 meters of universal steel nylon 3 8 hose. Right here. So, it's supposed to be 16 feet of this. So, we'll see how it turns out. It looks really nice. Um, if it works out well, what I'm going to do then is we will replace this hose here with this nice braided shit. Comment down below guys, should we? What do you think? We'll have lots left. Today, March 10th, these guys, sh this guy showed up. So now we have the hose, the 14 mil, the 16 mil, and those two clips. So now all we need are the four connector guys that go onto the hose and screw into here. I go into here because this end here goes onto my existing fuel line and then this goes on to the the, sw the swivel and then the hose adapter thing so those should be here in a couple days and then we can get this then I can get this fuel system built for you guys I can't wait super stoked look what showed up unexpectedly a month early guys you see these this is the the gibberish None of those QR codes do anything. So, yeah, <laughs> these weren't supposed to come until June 10th. And today is May 12th, I believe. So, yeah. They're just your standard... You know, thread on the end there and the hose goes in, right? So... My swivel, which is awesome. So these should work really well. Which is, so you know what that means, you guys. Here, let me put this back in, and we'll be right back. One second. All right, now, now you guys know what that means, right? Here, let me go around here. Uh, da, 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 da. There's so much shit in the way. Let me grab that. This is the other pieces. Da, da, da. This thing here. Well, we'll talk about that in the next video. <laughs> All right. We've got our hose ends. We've got oh, these fucking things that are garbage here. These two here are junk. Um, I ordered two new ones. They should be here in a couple days. Then they're the Russell ones. So this should be way better. And we got these guys. And then we got the hose. The hose, I'm not too, um, how do I say this? Uh, amp, oh, it, it's going to be hit or miss. Um, I see a lot of reviews on it. Oh, I'm just dropping shit off the table. Sorry about that, guys. Um, a lot of the, fuck sakes, I, damn, Flashlight's got a damn magnet on it. You know, I'm just going to shut it off. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, I've heard a lot of hit or miss stuff about this line. A lot of Some people say it's good. Let me zoom in so you guys can see here. Some people say it's really good. Some people say, you know, it sucks. So, we'll find out. Uh, these guys here. The reason I went with Fergola is because of... Uh, well, Doug Cook from Motion Raceworks recommends uh, Fergola Performance Systems adapters. So as you see, we got everything we need. As soon as I get these two new guys, uh, we'll be back to uh, assemble it. And um, we will put together what you need to put an LM7, the dual return fuel system, and a 96 to 2000 OBS Chevy. Keep them peepers fucking glued. 
Look what showed up Friday the 13th, guys. Ordered it like on the Tuesday, showed up on the Friday. Now the other piece should be here Monday and we can get this fuel system built. I'm stoked. May 16th, we got the final piece again, which is awesome. So now, I'm gonna put this with the rest of the stuff. Uh, tomorrow, my littlest of humans, my two-year-old, sorry about that guys, goes back to her mom's for a week. So I will be back to do uh, the wiring. They're not the wiring, the uh, fuel line. So here all this, aside from this stuff, that you know, doesn't work. But here we got everything we need to do the fuel system. So, all right, we are back to assemble this fuel system. Um, now, a quick recap of what we, have, what we all have here. We've got this guy here. Okay. This guy here. These two go on to the stock uh, LM5 or LM7. Um, truck manifold. Then we got these two guys here, which attach to the factory GM hard lines at the uh, bell housing, I guess, or firewall. Then we've got, of course, our cheap Chinese adapters, our dash six adapters or swivel, and we've got our dash six hose. So, if you guys have seen videos on how to assemble all this before I'm pretty sure if not there's there's lots of videos on YouTube um, I would show you but I don't want this video to be overly long um, I might cut out the little rant that I did but just just I'm, I'm about ethics honesty and integrity more than anything in the anything and if you don't got that I don't want to do business with you it's a long story short there anyways guys we'll be back with this um, kind of sorted together and we'll show you guys what we're working with all right, guys, we are back. Got the uh, hoses made. Let me get the flashlight over here so you can see better. Got the hoses made. And once again, this guy here goes on to this guy and this guy. Are these two bottom ones that go on to your existing fuel like rail from for your, like the OBS truck rail. And then these two guys here are these two clips. Uh, these are just your normal straight swivels for 6AN and just some 6AN braided line. We've got lots left, guys. Like, look at this. We've got lots left. So what I might do is, and comment down below, tell me what you guys think of this idea of replacing this line here, right, with this stuff. It's a lot nicer. It's braided, right? A lot nicer looking than just this rubber. So comment down below what you guys think, and uh, we will be right back in a second. I'm just going to have a puff. Oh, before you do that, though, I did make them different lengths because this one is closest to the setup and the bottom one, and then this is the top one, and it's further away type of thing. As you guys can kind of see there. So we're going from those two little round guys at the back to there. And I will be right back to show you guys what it looks like when it's done. Alright guys and girls, as you can see, got it connected down there if it'll zoom, if it'll focus. I don't know if it will. Come on, focus. It right back here, connected to the factory hard lines. And then come up. Right to the fat to the uh, feed lines here. So, not bad if I do say so myself. Um, these fittings, unlike the first set we got, are they're good. They're gonna they'll do the trick. This one may be a little bit wobbly, but we'll see how that goes. It's on there. It ain't coming off. So. Who knows what happens? I might just have to 
pressurize or something but otherwise they're on there on there really good everything's tight looks really really good as you guys can see like it's really nice so and I, like I said comment down below if you guys think I should do these these hoses next I think I'm going to actually just because that back there looks so good so whew, that's what I'm gonna call her today I'm tired been working on quads all day and then I took some time to start doing this and got my I taught my daughter how to ride her quad today finally so that's that's always awesome so but yeah uh, I don't know if I'm gonna put that part in where I was ranting about a certain company just being unethically into, just doing stuff that just does not make sense and then when they say that they do it for legal reasons makes you be like okay so you guys are shady as too <laughs> but I don't know um, if I don't and you guys are interested in what I'm talking about comment down below and I'll make a video just purposely on the subject um, I won't use the company name but you'll understand who I'm talking about <laughs> and it sucks because well, it is what it is right so but anyways with that I'm gonna call it a night love you guys thank you so much for tuning into this uh, video on how to adapt the factory fuel system from an 06 to 2000 OBS Chevy truck with a Vortec 5.7 to the return style um, LS or LM7 style, I guess, truck intake. So, yeah, hope this helped you guys out. Um, it's, uh, I was going to say complete list of parts that I used. I was going to put up here somewhere, but if I can find it, I will. They're not the parts I used, but the parts that you need. Um, just remember you need, oh, I got my mom's cats in here screaming at me. What's up, Yogi? He's a big, he's a big boy, aren't you? Big, beautiful boy. Yeah. He'll be out right away. I didn't know he was in here. Anyways, you guys need some AN line, 6-6 six, uh, six, six line. You need the, uh, adapter dash 6 to 16 mil, dash 6 to 14 mil. But both of them use a 16 mil wrench, which is kind of weird. Then you need the straights with the swivels. Then you need these uh, 5 16s and 3 8 um, rail clips. And that is it, folks. <laughs> like that's, that's where I'm going to end it right now. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, next video, I am not too sure what I'm going to do in it. Maybe we'll go check out my buddy's TA. Maybe. I don't know yet. Like That could have happened before this video comes out. <laughs> I don't know. So, anyways. Love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Let's help me jump these numbers up a bit. Because um, I got some really cool shit in the pipelines. So, and now it's up to you guys if you want to come along for the journey. Alright, love ya. God bless.